This video will give an overview of the iOS version of Osman Maps and Navigation. Debuting in 2010, Osman is best known as an open source Android application. The iOS version debuted in 2015 and still has fewer features, but developers have steadily closed the gap. Osman primarily uses crowdsource data from the OpenStreetMap project. It can show this data in multiple ways. It can preview the route. It can do turn-by-turn -turn navigation on roads and on trails. It can record and follow GPX tracks. And it can give you information about the things around you. All without a cellular connection. Because the maps and related data all reside on your phone. They're found here. For this demonstration, I've downloaded all layers related to California. The map, contour lines, Wikipedia, hill shading, and slope. And I've enabled these plugins. To create a route for navigating, I'm going to press on a destination. Notice there are four navigation options. I've selected walking, and there are many other options that can tweak how Osman navigates. From here, I'm going to specify a subsequent destination. which turns the original destination into an intermediate one. Once I'm satisfied with my route, I can learn a lot about it. Here, for example, is the distance, as well as a rough estimate, sometimes very rough, of the time needed to walk, bicycle, or drive it. There are directions, There's an altitude profile in blue and a steepness profile in green. Pressing details, I can see the total ascent and descent, as well as the average altitude and altitude range. Using data from OpenStreetMap, there's information about the road type its surface and there's an analysis of the steepness. The Analyze button shows the relationship of the altitude profile to the route. Those green circles are, in this case, a kilometer apart. To begin navigation, press the Start button. There's a choice of views, 2D, or 3D. You can also create and preview routes remotely. And finally, any route you make can be saved as a GPX. You'll find them here. Here's what Osmond looks like on the road. As I've configured the screen here, we're seeing the trip distance and the distance to the first intermediate destination, both on the right. The distance to the next turn and the turn after that are on the left. The top panel shows the road I'm on or the road I'll be turning on. 
turn left onto Nicasio Valley Road. Osman can also do turn-by-turn -turn navigation off-road. You can record GPXs by pressing the Trip Recording button. Pressing it again allows you to stop recording and save it. You can view the statistics of any track, change its color, display it on the map, and use it for navigation. You can customize the look of the map from here. Or from here. The settings profiles represent different groups of settings. The most fundamental setting is the map type which determines the overall style of the map. There are multiple styles for contour lines as well. The hill shading and slope layers are found here. The screen panels are controlled here. You can display various points of interest here. For traveling, there's also the Wikipedia layer, which will give you information about the things around you. Osmond also has three ways to mark personal points of interest. You can create a favorite specifying its label, color, and category. They're listed here. You can create a map marker, which is quicker to do, but less organized. You can use both favorites and map markers as points of navigation. You can also create GPX waypoints. These are waypoints that are a part of the GPX.